So uh, right now we're gonna talk about processing. And processing is one of the most important parts when arranging. It's what's really gonna increase the longevity of your flowers. And if you don't process properly, uh, you could definitely lose your flowers a lot faster. The first thing that we're gonna talk about is how to process roses. Roses are one of our sort of staples in our arrangements. It's a great filler. Uh, we use a lot of them. Um, and right now we're gonna talk about really how to clean these up and uh, how to treat them. So one thing that you wanna think about when, ro when you're buying roses is if they're really tight and you're gonna be prepping for an event, you wanna make sure that they're in peak openness before the event when you're arranging. Roses are actually cut when they're buds and then they start to open up uh, at the market. So if they are closed like this, one trick that we do is we'll fill a bucket up with warm water and that's gonna increase the water flow up to the flower head. Uh, another trick is also to clean up your roses and take off all the bottom leaves. And that's gonna make it so that the water isn't wasted in the leaves and it goes straight to the flower head as well, um, which is also gonna increase the lifespan of your roses. Uh, another thing that we like to do as well, if you're arranging with a lot of really beautiful heirloom delicate flowers, a lot of these thorns as you're arranging can actually puncture some of the petals. So you also wanna clean up the really big thorns as well. Um, unless that's a look that you're going for, you won't really see them. So just break off all the, all the big ones. And then just before you pop it into water, you wanna do a nice angled cut and then toss it right in. Anytime you pull a flower out of water, you wanna make sure that you always do a fresh cut before you put it back in. Uh, the, the stems tend to oxidize pretty fast um, and that'll make it so that the water isn't absorbed into the flower. So we're just gonna clean these up and I always like to keep the top two petals on. I think it's um, a lot nicer. It's just an aesthetic thing for me, but you can clean them all off if you want. It's really a uh, personal preference. So I'll just take off these. And sometimes if the outer petals are a little bit brown, you can just peel those right off. Yeah. Another thing too that you wanna think about is always wash your buckets before you process your flowers. Uh, if you don't, you can definitely get bacteria growth and that's also, um, another cause for flowers to die a lot faster. And we just uh, use dish soap. Yeah, just dish soap, just antibacterial dish soap is, is fine. Um, and then also um, a little bit of plant food, depending how long they're gonna be sitting in your studio, is also great. And uh, we'll show you that um, when we go over all of our supplies and, and what we use. Just gonna finish these up. So a lot of different flowers uh, take different techniques with processing. Now we're gonna show you how we like to process our tulips. So tulips, they definitely uh, start to sort of wilt and bend down at the market when they're dehydrated. Um, but they're pretty great because then once you put them in water, they definitely perk up and they tend to straighten as well. So when you're processing flowers, any leaves uh, that are gonna sit in water, you want to remove because those leaves sitting in the water are really gonna um, increase your chances of bacteria growth, which like I said before, uh, will make your flowers die a lot faster. Um, so just the bottom leaves. I actually love the way the top leaves of tulips look. I mean, you can keep them on, like I said, with roses um, if you want, or you can take them off. Um, I like to keep them on. I think they're really beautiful. And then I will just do a nice little angled cut at the bottom and just pop them right in. Uh, tulips don't need warm water. Really anything with a hardy stem like roses uh, can use warm water to really pop the flowers open. Um, like roses, lilacs, um, anything with a nice woody hardy stem. Anything with a softer stem will tend to sort of get mushy in hot water. So you wanna make sure that they go straight into cold water. So just clean these up here. Another flower that we're gonna be using today is ranunculus, which you can definitely get in the spring. And we've already kind of gone through and cleaned these up for you, but just to show you, um, ranunculus usually have a lot of leaves on them. So just strip the leaves off. That's also gonna increase water flow to the flower head. And then just also quick cut and then right into cold water. Uh, ranunculus are great. They last um, a fairly long time. We find them to be one of our, our hardier flowers. Um, just make sure that over time that you're really changing your water out if they're gonna be sitting for longer than a couple days. Um, just take them out, clean your water out, um, soap the inside, and then a little bit more plant food, and that'll really uh, make them last a lot longer. Sometimes when you're at the flower market and you see ranunculus, they look kind of like little tight balls. 
Um, so you really want to give them a little bit of time to really open up and get that show-stopping effect. I actually find that ranunculus look the best just before their petals completely fall off. Um, so we definitely like to give ourselves a few days before we, before we arrange with them for our events. Uh, and then other flowers that uh, we use and tips for processing. So here we have some peonies. And a lot of times when you buy your peonies, they'll come in tight buds like this. Now, it has a sugar coating naturally that sort of holds the petals together. So if you want them to open up faster, there are a few tricks that you can do. One of them is to submerge them in warm water just to get some of that sugary residue to come off and that'll help pop them open. Another trick is to put them just in hot water because it does have a woodier stem, just like we did the roses. That'll help it drink and help it open up a lot faster. And then one other trick that we've done a couple times in the past, we don't always do because we like to give ourselves enough time for them to open, um, but you can actually put, put them in a really steamy hot environment and that steam will actually um, help break up that sugary residue and let them pop open a lot faster. Um, and then just like the other flowers, we like to clean up the bottom leaves so they're not sitting in water. Uh, and then yeah, fresh cut and stick them right in. Uh, here we have uh, some passion vine that we love to arrange with, and we'll talk about how we use this to sort of wrap around and add like an interesting element to our arrangements. But same thing, just make sure that any of your leaves that you're arranging with are really cleaned up at the bottom. Just strip them off, and then just fresh cut and pop it right back in water. Um, I think that's the biggest thing to really remember when you're processing, is to make sure that there's nothing sitting in your water. You wanna make sure that it's always just clean stem, fresh cut, and clean water. Um, most of this should last for a few days. Um, some, of course, like our tulips, will last a bit longer. Um, yeah. These are flowers that we would use likely in an event. Um, so the lifespan is around three to five days once they're fully arranged. Um, once you have your arrangement completed, you want to make sure it's fully topped off with water. And then every day, keep topping off with water to make sure that there's ample water for the flowers to drink. Yeah. I mean, I think out of everything that we have here, these pitcher plants are probably the least hardy. Um, but we just wanted to get these to show you how you can use something really fun and interesting and just kind of tuck it in at the end and it gives it like a really special look. Um, yeah, kind of a weird detail about these. They're actually a carnivorous plants, so the fly, they attract flies. So sometimes when we'll snip them on the bottom. It might be too early for these ones. But might be, but sometimes little fall, flies fall out. Fall out yeah. <laughs> but they're kind of a, we love to add in an interesting element or kind of a surprise element to our arrangement, something that's a, not so typical. So that's what we're going to use yeah. for these later. That, and then also we have this beautiful blueberry that we're going to be using. Um, and we'll show you how that plays a role in adding an interesting texture and also just an interesting color variation in your arrangements.